With the death of Dr. Olushegun Agagu, Nigeria has lost a selfless, devoted, and committed leader, a quintessence of service, a respected intellectual who for most of his life deployed his intellect in seeking the general well-being of his people. A renowned geologist who was widely acclaimed as a very peaceful person, Dr. Olushegun Agagu is one of those who blazed a trail of the involvement of accomplished professionals in Nigeria's politics. Until his death, Dr. Lusheg Mwagagu was a shining example of matured, refined, cultured and robust politics of ideas devoid of bitterness. No wonder he had friends across Nigeria's diverse political spectrum. A glaring testimony of Dr. Lusheg Mwagagu's all-inclusive friendship without political boundaries came to the fore at the special tribute session organized by the Department of Geology, University of Ibado, to kickstart funeral activities for him. The forum, which took place at the International Conference Center, University of Ibado, Oyo State Capital, where Dr. Olusheg Mwagagu was both a student and a lecturer, featured a bipartisan attendance of past and present political office holders from different political parties who all collapsed into one broad family of love for humanity. It was indeed a fitting and lasting tribute to the memory of Dr. Lucia Gwagagu, who worked relentlessly to ensure that the Southwest geopolitical zone moved into the mainstream of national politics so that the Yoruba nation can occupy her rightful position in Nigeria. The rich area of dignitaries that gathered in Ibadan to pay their last respects to Dr. Lucia Gwagagu included the governors of Oyo, Oshun, and Ikitu states, who belonged to different political camps with Dr. Olusha Gwagagu. Former governors who served alongside Dr. Olusha Gwagagu were joined by prominent academicians, eminent dignitaries, mostly from the southwest region, and the representatives of the Oba of Lagos, His Royal Majesty, Oba Rilwa and Akuli I. Those close to Dr. Olusha Gwagagu knew that his usual refrain was to quote him, since I'm only answerable to God and my conscience in whatever I do, I might as well be firm and fair to everyone, no matter where they come from. The tribute session was like going through the interesting trajectory of Dr. Lucia Nwagagu's life, which is dotted at every turn with robust accomplishments all the way. Exhibiting and common and exceptional brilliance as a student at the University of Ibado. Dr. Lusheg Mwagagwe enjoyed three scholarships. This enabled him to get to the top of his academic career in record time. This also properly positioned him to make an indelible impact in all the areas he had been privileged to serve his fatherland. The scholarships were from the Western State Government, University of Ibado, and the Gulf Oil Company Scholarship. Dr. Olusheg Mwagagu was at the University of Texas, United States in 1973 for his master's degree in geology, while he got his PhD in petroleum geology from the University of Ibadan in 1978. A thorough professional in his area of specialization, Dr. Olusheg Mwagagu, who had traveled to almost 40 countries of the world, has to his credit 15 articles and learned journals. He has attended many post doctorate professional courses and conferences across the globe. Dr. Lucia Gwagagu's working career began as a geologist with the Gulf Oil Company in 1982. Dr. Agagu belonged to many learned professional societies. These included the American Association of Petroleum Geologists, Geology Society of Africa, Fellow Nigeria Mining and Geosciences Society, Fellow Nigeria Association of Petroleum Explorationists. Dr. Olusheg Mwagagu's first major step in politics began with his election as Deputy Governor of Ondo State in 1989. He was a founding member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. It was during Dr. Olusheg Mwagagu's tenure as Aviation Minister that the ban of flights to and from Nigeria to USA was lifted. Indeed, the aviation industry witnessed considerable human capital development under Agagu's watch. As Minister of Power and Steel, Dr. Lucia Agagu's 30 month period in the saddle saw a remarkable rise in the capacity of power generation in Nigeria from 1,425 
to 4,000 megawatts. Oshogo Joss and Casino Rolling Mills also went through tremendous improvement under Dr. Olusegun Agagu. Dr. Olusegun Agagu contested and won the gubernatorial election to become Ondo State Governor in 2002. Ondo State, under Dr. Olusegun Agagu's watch, recorded a lot of improvement in many sectors. Portable water supply increased from 4% to 52%. The health, infrastructure and power sectors got a new lease of life. Ondo State indigents would remember Dr. Agagu's tenure for the landmark achievements he recorded in many fronts. The special tribute session in honor of Dr. Lusegun Agagu was also garnished with spiritually uplifting music. The tribute session featured comments from associates, friends, and colleagues of Governor Lusegun Agagu, who looked at him from different perspectives, with a convergence of opinion among all of them that Dr. Agagu was a man of strong character, captivating personality, who left a worthy legacy which will keep him in the hearts of all that love him in perpetuity. The tribute of the Ibadan Grammar School Old Students Association, Dr. Ulusha Gwagagu's alma mater, looked at his role in the improvement of the school. It was not a surprise that he became successful as a geologist and later as a politician. Dr. Agagu did not allow his success in life and exalted position as a politician and statesman to alienate him from those he met along the ladder of success. On few occasions that he met when he was in the limelight, he still maintained the mutual respect we have for each other during our student days. He contributed tremendously towards the progress of our alma mater and the Old Students Association. He will be greatly missed. I know very well that death is a death all mortals must pay at one time or the other. But your death is still like a very bad thing to be. You are so full of life. And your positive attitude to life was quite, was quite infectious. We first met me as student days at the first of all. But we really got very close to when we were young lecturers at the University of Africa in the 1970s. Honestly, it is quite painful to lose a close friend of over 40 years. Ekiti State Governor Dr. Karode Faemi, who described Dr. Lusha Gwagagu as a prolific academic, excellent administrator, and a foremost nationalist with wreck intellect, said Dr. Agagu is one of those Nigerians who spearheaded the entry of decent Nigerians into Nigerian politics, which inspired him to join the fray. The faithful Christian that he was, he understood his calling very well in life and did his best to be a blessing to his generation. The doctor that will place the trail for me and other intellectuals in the academia and civil society who at one time or the other considered getting involved in politics and by extension government. The involvement of decent men and women of honor, like him in politics, was the torch that lit the paths of many of us who eventually made the move. All the chef work, the quintessence of service in the past. We are gathered here today to celebrate and appropriate the vast resources of language to graphically paint the two pictures.
family, friends, colleagues, and coming. I stand with you all today to so appreciate our colleagues and our fact the valuable essence and irreproachable essence that the late Dr. Olusha Kumar graduated in the 65 years of Abdi Sojong. Permit me to say that I have had the singular opportunity of working in so many fronts with Dr. Agago. It is common knowledge that the last power station that was built in Nigeria within the framework of the Southwest was the Egwe Tama station in Ekorodu. That station was done approximately 30 years ago, before Agaku became the Minister for Power. And I wish to confirm to you that it's under his tenure that two other additional power stations were built in the Southwest. The Momoto Shore Power Station in Odo State and the Oloro Shogo Power Station in Bogo State. And I've come here to deliver a tribute in memory of one of our brightest stars that just said. Dr. Agaguska said at the time he provided illumination to a large number of men and women and his countrymen at large. Right here at the University of Colorado many years ago, he chose to apply his trade as an academic and a scholar. Here at the University of Colorado, he honed the skill of his scholarship as a geologist, a professional career that will later be useful not only in his in Chukodo, people of Udoste, but Nigeria in general. Dr. Agagu represented the best of us. Indeed, one of the trailblazers of professionals in the murky waters of politics. He was indeed a professional in politics. He was never a professional politician. At a time when the general conception was that only the worst of us participated in politics, he literally beat the bullet, removed the hallowed academic gown of the academia, and mounted the road strong to campaign for the votes of his people. The children will meet a dutiful and responsible father. The extended family will meet a trustworthy and dependable confidant and relation. Friends will meet a frank, reliable, and thoughtful friend and associate. The community will meet a devoted and committed leader. The state has lost an icon. The nation has lost another able, willing, and ready contributor to its greatness. Oh, to badara, kora for more. Oh, to badara, kora for more. I shot to badara, kora for more. To badara, kora for more. Oh, balog waru.